What's up? I'm J Dog from Hollywood Undead, and these are AMAs. Ask me anything, bitch. Will Volume 2 be as heavy as Volume 1? As of right now, it is not as heavy as Volume 1. We are going to go into the studio and record some more shit. We are so fucking fast at recording songs that we'll probably write more. And will it turn out as heavy? I can't promise anything. If you didn't do music, what would you want to do instead? I would grow weed, and I'm currently already doing it. And if I wasn't growing weed, I'd be a doctor. I actually have 35 doctorates. Um, I get requested all over the world to do open heart surgeries. I'm just really busy growing weed instead, so I don't do that. What was your reaction to the realization that you guys made it? Shit, I don't know, that's a good question. The first time I felt like we made it was probably way down the road when I realized that I didn't have to rent my room out when I was on tour anymore because we used to tour for a long time and we didn't make enough money forever. I should rent my room out. This is before Airbnb and shit like that. So I have to post my shit on Craigslist and go on tour, sell out shows and make zero dollars. So when I finally had to stop renting my room out, I was like, damn, I guess I made it. Why is Charlie seen the best fucking rapper in the galaxy? Uh, well, he may be the best one in the galaxy, but I'm, I travel dimensions, interdimensional travel. So he's only the best one in this dimension. I'm the best one in every single other one. There's infinite dimensions. So in this galaxy, he's the best. But in every other galaxy, I'm the best. Who is your favorite music artist? Uh, it varies. I listen to metal sometimes. Literally only metal music for like a month, then only rap music. So I was super into this band called Martyr Defiled for a metal band I was listening to a lot. And then recently I'm listening to Pop Smoke. Unfortunately, he died at a young age, but I like his music. It's called drill music. It's kind of got like deep 808s and you know some kind of dubstep elements i like the music production of it do you guys play online video games well you could ask the biggest nerd in the band charlie scene because i believe he's a gamer how is tour going i don't know you tell me i'm in romania about to fucking play this coliseum it's going pretty good <laughs> if you had to rename the band what would you change it to i don't know i never really thought about that Probably j Dog and the Undeads. What are your top five songs to play? Honestly, I like playing any new songs. I like playing heavier music too, which our new album's a lot heavier. So we're playing Time Bomb. Time Bomb, Time Bomb, Time Bomb, and Time Bomb. Those are my favorite ones to play. We're gonna add Enemy into the set pretty soon here. Would you ever consider acting? I personally hate being on camera. I know the other guys in the band are into that kind of shit. Like I don't like music videos i don't like having my photo taken i don't like doing this fucking interview that cameron's forcing me to do right now so i personally would never consider acting who is the funniest member of hollywood and dead <laughs> it's so obvious it's me how did you come up with the name hollywood undead we lived in hollywood obviously grew up there and um the first song name we called undead maybe the song was called hollywood and i don't remember we were going to call ourselves undead and the first song was called Hollywood. Whatever the fuck it was, I handed the CD to my roommate, or my neighbor at the time, and I think it said Undead Hollywood on it. So we must have been called, we're calling ourselves Undead, and the song was called Hollywood. And my neighbor saw it, he's like, Hollywood Undead, that's a pretty dope name. And I was like, damn, and it just stuck right then. There was the name right there. To J-Dog, what is your favorite song by Slayer? Rain and Blood. I actually like South of Heaven. That's probably my favorite one, I love that riff. What other places would you love to tour that you haven't been before? I'd like to go to South America more. I mean, we only did uh, Argentina and Brazil, but I'd love to see all over Central America, South America. We did Mexico City once, but I'd love to spend more time down there. I like big butts and I cannot lie. What advice do you have for small bands? I mean, I used to tell people like, don't suck, you know, get good at your craft, get good at your instruments, get good at songwriting. But this day and age, like I see people who suck, who are uh, making it. So it's like, I guess just, just fucking hustle. Like, take it seriously. Like, if you're gonna push yourself on the internet, like really push yourself on the internet. Some kid came up to us and was like, oh, your band added me on MySpace a long time ago. I mean, we used to sit there for fucking hours every day adding people on our band so people knew who we were. We did it every day. So I don't know what you would do nowadays, but whatever you gotta do, do it to make sure people hear your music. Do you guys deal with roadblocks or self critique when writing? Yeah, that's normal for any artist. I mean, I'm sure you could take the biggest actor in the world and I heard some of them don't even watch their own films because they cringe watching themselves act and shit like that. So 
yeah, of course we critique ourselves. We're artists. I mean, I think nothing I do is good enough and, you know, makes you strive to be better, I guess. How did all you guys meet each other? Why did you decide to start a band? I mean, most of us, our parents knew each other. So I remember when I met Johnny Three Church the first time we were in like kindergarten, he was throwing basketballs at other kids' heads going, oh, me so horny. Because Two Live Crew came out and they were popular. He was just fucking nailing kids with a basketball, playing dodgeball or some shit, singing that song. It always stuck out in my head. J Dog, what does the tattoo on your neck mean? Uh, I have several tattoos on my neck. One is the year I was born, and one says love life. Try to remind myself, remind myself to draw myself. Here goes Johnny Three Tears right here, uh, trying to steal my thunder. Dude, I'm on. I'm filming right now. Okay, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, the audacity.